tortilla española, perfect for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. If you have a busy week, this delicious Spanish-style omelet will be your best friend. Start by peeling your potatoes. I'm going with Yukon Golds here because they're delicious. They get tender, but they don't fall apart when you cook them. Now, take all your peeled potatoes and cut them in half lengthwise. Take each potato half and slice them into pieces about 1 8 of an inch thick. Prep your onion by removing both ends, slicing it in half lengthwise and then removing the peel. Just like you did for your potatoes, cut this onion in slices that are about an eighth of an inch thick. Once you have all your potatoes and onions in a bowl, get your hands in there and give them a good mix. Now it's time for the heat. So get your 10 inch nonstick saute pan over a medium flame and add all your extra virgin olive oil. Go ahead and add your potatoes and onions to the warm oil. And if you don't want to get burnt or make a mess, don't splash the oil like I just did. Now you're probably thinking this is a heaping pile of potatoes and onions in my pan. What am I going to do? Well just remember, as the mixture cooks, it'll shrink down and those potatoes and onions will become much more manageable. While your potatoes and onions are slowly cooking, let's go ahead and get your eggs ready by cracking them into a bowl and whisking them until they're completely homogenous. After 15 minutes of cooking, your potatoes and onions are completely tender and ready. Place your potato and onion mixture into a strainer that's over a large bowl. This is going to filter out all of the extra virgin olive oil that you used to cook with earlier, but don't throw that oil out, you're going to need it later. Add your potato and onion mixture to your eggs, then season everything with some sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. Take a minute to stir everything up and to make sure that those potatoes and onions are evenly distributed. Then it's back to the stove. Add two to three tablespoons of that reserved cooking oil back into the pan over medium heat. Once the oil's hot, go ahead and add your tortilla mixture back into the pan. Now spread it around in a nice even layer. And this will ensure that you get a little bit of egg, potato, and onion in every bite. Cook the tortilla for 15 to 20 minutes over a medium low flame until most of the egg is set leaving just a little bit on top that's loose. Now the tortilla is ready for a flip. Do this by placing an oversized plate over the pan and inverting it. The tortilla should come right out. To finish the tortilla, you have to cook the other side. So slide it back into the pan and get it situated over a medium low flame again. Tucking in the edges will help the tortilla maintain its shape, while lightly pressing around the perimeter will ensure even contact with the bottom of the pan. When the tortilla is done cooking, it's time for another flip, so just repeat the same process that you did earlier. Slide it off onto a cutting board, slice it into eight pieces, and plate it up. I'm serving my tortilla española with some fresh baby arugula that's been tossed in a preserved lemon vinaigrette along with some smoked pimentin aioli. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos posted every Monday. Thanks so much and I'll see you next week.